Hi, good morning, good evening to all of you wherever you are. I have started this series on CBAP and CCBA certification exam questions. In this series of videos, I will have one question covered every video where I will explain the answer, the correct answer as well as the wrong answer with explanation so that you can understand how such questions can be handled and how they pertain to the Babok guide version 3. So, as you know, CBAP and CCB, both the exams have scenario based questions. In CBAP exam, it's approximately 60 to 70 percent, while in CCBA, it is 100 percent. So, I'm going to cover scenario based questions in this series. So, let's get started with today's question. Here is the question. Now, let's look at the question. In a project relating to order management, the business analyst has got three estimates from the developers as shown below. Optimistic estimate three weeks, most likely estimate as four weeks and pessimistic estimate as five weeks. Which of the estimates the BA should take to communicate to the stakeholders or to the customer? Option A, the most likely one. Option B, the optimistic one. Option 3, average of 3, none of these. Typically, it's always a good idea to get multiple estimates from the developers, giving them the indication that what if everything goes wrong while they're doing the programming part. So how much time it will take? That's called pessimistic estimation. And if everything goes right, that's called optimistic estimation. But on an average, the estimate which is most likely to be correct is known as most likely estimate. Now, if you have all the three estimations, there is a formula which is based on PERT estimation technique, which needs to be used to calculate the most correct value in this particular scenario. And that formula is given in 10.19.3, the estimation technique chapter. You can see the formula on the screen. So only option D seems to be correct because neither op option A nor option B, neither option C are correct. That is because it's not about average. It's about the weighted average where most likely gets, a, gets an average or gets a weight of 4. So I hope this question and its explanation help you in understanding the concepts and connecting the dots. I will see you with the next question in the next video. Thank you so much.